Spawn embarks on a rampage to find the man supposedly responsible for the kidnapping of Granny Blake. This issue is not for the squeamish. It's all right here in our review of King Spawn number 33 from Image Comics. Stay tuned for the review. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of King Spawn number 33. But before we get started, let's talk about the credits. This issue is written by Todd McFarlane. Art by Javi Fernandez. Colors by Ivan Nunes. Letters by Ann World Design. With cover art by Puppeteer Lee. Todd McFarlane rolls up his sleeves and gets nasty in King Spawn number 33. Al Simmons stops at nothing to track down Kruger, the man every informant names as the one responsible for Granny Blake's kidnapping, and anyone who gets in Ale's way pays a heavy price. When last we left Spawn, we learned Granny Blake was not kidnapped by Kruger. The kidnapping was a setup by a rival gang of vampires to trick Spawn into wiping out the competition. So far, the ruse is working. In King Spawn number 33, Todd McFarlane starts at the end and works his way backward in time to show how an explosive finale begins an issue-long melee of fist fights, gun fights, rocket launcher attacks, teeth pulling, threats, and intimidation. McFarlane draws from Spawn's history as a nasty black ops agent to show that you don't need powers to make your enemies very afraid. What did we like about King Spawn number 33? Todd McFarlane is determined to prove Spawn is an unstoppable badass without his powers. Here, readers get an issue-long cavalcade of violence that would make Superman nervous. If you thought losing his powers would make Spawn weak, think again. What didn't we like about King Spawn number 33? Plot? What plot? As much as we like seeing Spawn take out terrible people in horrific and deserved ways, this issue is more style than substance. Yes, Spawn takes out Kruger and most of his men, but we don't learn anything new, Granny Blake is no closer to being rescued, and the entire issue is little more than a montage of action. Let's talk about the art. Javi Fernandez's art is excellent. Since this issue is almost all action, the script relies heavily on Fernandez to make the pages as engaging as possible. In large part, Fernandez succeeds. Final Thoughts King Spawn No. 33 is a montage melee of action and torturous violence to prove that Al Simmons doesn't need his powers to be a certifiable threat. Spawn's quest to find Granny Blake is relentless, and the art looks great. That said, the only thing missing is an actual plot. Therefore, King Spawn No. 33 earns a 7.8 out of 10. What do you think of this comic? Are you more likely or less likely to pick it up? Let us know in the comments section. Also, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more reviews just like this one, stay tuned through the outro.